20 past three in the morning. Very tired, but we're off to Berlin. I've got everything ready to go here. It's just a cabin bag and a carry-on like thing. And then this is what I'm wearing to the airport. So I've just got this little cropped t-shirt, jeans, because it's a two hour flight, so I feel like it's not that bad to wear jeans. So I've got my jeans on because they're the heaviest pair of trouser, like bottom half that I've got, docks, and then I'm gonna wear my big puffer coat. So we just got to Berlin and we're wandering around trying to find somewhere to eat because we can't get into our Airbnb till before. I will leave the Airbnb link down below if I can find it. Hannah's got it, I'll find it. Um, but we're going to place with vegan living I think because Jay really wants to go there. And I just found our late night food because there's a burrito place right next to our place. <laughs> There's also wine. We found we found a wine stop. We found a food stop. We found a tattoo yeah. shop. Pending. We found <laughs> late night food. We found a bit of everything. But yeah, we're trying to find vegan living because Jay wanted to go and it's a four minute walk from our little home for the week. So we've come to one, what's it called? 1990. 19? <laughs> we've come to 1990 vegan living. It's basically like a Vietnamese vegan place and it's like all little sherry bits and you put it in the middle and then you get chopsticks like so and it's not too expensive it's like 4 90 a bottle so quite reasonable so we're gonna eat some food drink some drinks and i'm very very hungry all we've eaten is a pretzel today so starving hi guys welcome to another vlog as you can see from the title i am in berlin at the moment i'm gonna be here for roughly four days and then we're heading over to munich for a couple of days as well so it's gonna be very exciting we've just checked into our airbnb and honestly it's so nice i'm not sure exactly what part of berlin we're staying in but i'll leave the airbnb link down below if i get the link off hannah and i'll give you a little tour in a minute but it's really really nice it's three bedrooms we do only have one bathroom between five of us which is going to be an experience but it'll be fine we've got a kitchen and everything so i think we're gonna cook a little bit but I'm staying here with Jay, her sister Hannah, her boyfriend Chris, and then their friend Mark. So there's five of us in total. And the three guys have just headed off to an expo because two of them are running the marathon on Sunday. So we're gonna go and watch them run and everything and have like a little fun marathony day. But today, Jay and I are heading out. Jay is currently pouring wine. This is why we are friends. <laughs> we, we just drink wine together. We drink wine, we eat sensations, and we don't really have a good diet when we're together, to be honest. It's fine. It's fine. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. Jay, toast, Jay. Oh, that's actually really good wine. Mm. Delicious. Love. But Jay and I are going to head off for an explore. She has been to Berlin before, so she kind of knows where we are, which is why we ended up at the vegan place earlier, um, which is really delicious. Highly recommend. And it was only 84 euros for five of us, and we got so much food, like way too much food, because it all comes in like little plates and stuff, so you can pick. But really, really yummy. We're going to head off, have a little explore, meet up with the guys later, and just see what Berlin has to offer. But I guess for right now, first task is to give you a tour of the Airbnb because it's stunning. And then like I said, I'll leave it linked, but it's so nice. It is quite high up. I think we're on like, I mean, I don't even know what floor and we walked up a lot of stairs, but this is what it looks like. So when you come in, it looks a bit like this. There's a cupboard here. I don't actually know what this is. Oh, it's like, oh, it's actually got like a little dryer and stuff in there. So you've got one bedroom here one bedroom here, both doubles. And then in here is the kitchen. Oh, I'm falling up the step. In here is the kitchen living room. So nice big couch and stuff. We've got the table there and the kitchen is like full of loads of bits. So you've actually got a coffee machine there and a coffee machine there. And then we've got a little balcony out here, which is really nice. So just like a small little, small little balcony. And then through here is the bathroom and me and Jay's room. So this is the bathroom. We've got the shower. With the bath there is a hairdryer as well which we were saying is so handy because not many places would give you this in an airbnb but very handy big mirror there's also a washing machine which is again really handy it's quite big and spacious in here and then in here is me and jay's room jay's over here so we've got a nice big bed we've got the massive desk yeah we're gonna get ready to head out the door and go explore berlin and i'm very excited because i've never ever been here before and i think it's gonna be really fun Okay, day one, this is what I'm wearing. So we're just gonna head out and explore, go for some drinks and stuff later. So I've gone for something that's a bit versatile for like day to night. So I've got my trench coat on, which I'm actually gonna put a hoodie underneath, which I've not mentioned before, I don't think, but I always wear like a little layer that's hidden underneath so that I can wear outfits like this, 
but still be warm. So Trench is obviously my vintage Burberry one, but I'll link similar. This little cropped tee is a Zara number, which is really nice, but it is quite short, so I don't think it's that great for this time of year, because I want something a bit longer. These are old misguided, so it's really nice wide leg trousers, but again, I'll try and find similar to Link, because I think H&M do pretty similar, but I really like the little crossover waistband, and I like that they kind of fall a bit more mid-rise. And then on my feet, I've just got my New Balance 550s, which are pink. And I'm not going to lie, never thought I'd love a pink trainer, but I think where these are quite neutral, they're just a bit of me. I absolutely love them. So this is what I'm wearing for a day of going out and exploring and seeing Berlin. We decided to walk to the TV tower and go to bar 203, which is basically a bar that's got like panoramic views. And it's about 22 euros to go up to the top. So we're going to go meet all the guys there now and have a few drinks, possibly go somewhere for dinner, I don't know. I haven't really thought that far, but we decided to walk 51 minutes from our Airbnb to get some fresh air and because no Uber would pick up. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing that and we did just make a spontaneous decision after months, in fact, nearly our entire friendship. Almost a year. Yeah, and in, nearly it's an entire year, basically our entire friendship, we've been debating getting tattoos and we said if on the exact path that we have to walk, there is a tattoo parlor, we'd get one so we did we went and got one um i will show you later slash i don't really know when i'm gonna how i'm gonna show you but i'll show you at some way in this vlog but it's a little bit tender but it's fine it's just in a place that's really annoying and like rubby but yeah we've still got 25 minutes so we're kind of power walking so that we make sunset and hopefully it's beautiful but if you want to get a tattoo we went to tattoo martin update tv tower is here got its tool um but the bar is shut so we've decided not to go up because we wanted to go up for sunset sunset has gone so we've decided we're just going to do it another day and for now we're going to go into like a mini oktoberfest in the town and just have a couple of drinks and some food i think something yummy oh i'm not even in focus going home to have lots of wine <laughs> day two outfit i didn't bring that much with me so it's going to be a very like capsule wardrobe style but this is what i've popped on today so i've got my trench on again and the hoodie underneath as you can see like it does hide but it just keeps me a little bit warmer i've got a t-shirt which is just like a plain t-shirt from h&m i've got leggings which are the split ones from zara last year but i'll find similar to link because these are so comfy i actually have two pairs because i wear them so much when it gets to this time of year like it's just nice to be wearing like a legging but also have a little bit of something else and then i've got my docks and my little louis mini palm springs bag but very comfortable very easy outfit for the day i think and just like nice and I, i'm just comfy you know like i don't feel like i'm underdressed but i also don't feel overdressed and just comfortable vibes so we've come sightseeing today and we started with the victory tower chris is just telling us all about it but um we're gonna just kind of see what we see today have a little wander around hannah wants to see the start point of marathon so we're gonna find that go for coffee go for pasta all the good stuff so it's a very touristy day but it's really weird it's like a little bit spitty and it's really bright but really cloudy but it's quite a nice day We've come to one of the leftover bits of the Berlin Wall, which is here. You can see it kind of behind me. Um, I'll leave the like geotaggy thing on the screen, but it's really close to Checkpoint Charlie. It's like a five minute walk. So we've come to have a little look around and we're just having a bit of a history minute and like seeing all the historic -y things. Little history buffs over here. We're on the hunt for pasta. We have marathon day tomorrow. The guy's on pasta. We're gonna go find pasta. But we're just wandering around near our um, Airbnb and we're gonna try and find a bar as well because Copa de Pasta, this isn't what we thought. I mean, it's still cute, it'll still taste good. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get some pasta because they've got marathon tomorrow, so they want some carbs, and we're gonna try and find something really, really good to sit and eat and just have like a good hearty pasta.
back from dinner. I completely forgot to show you, but I just had a vegan pizza. It was just, it just looked like a normal pizza, to be honest. So not really anything exciting to show you. But we went to a place called The Factory and it was really, really good. Highly recommend, very cheap. It was like eight euros a pizza, so very cheap. And now we're home and we're just making some signs for the guys for tomorrow because they're running the marathon. So Chris has actually gone to bed as well, but me and Jay are staying up and we're just making the signs. So I'm gonna put you on a little time lapse so you can watch us make the marathon signs. Today is marathon day, so we're gonna go watch the guys run. They've already left the house, they're already like sorting themselves out, but we thought we'd leave a bit later because we can't really get in anyway. So this is my little outfit. I've got leggings on from Varley, which are just the really nice, soft, high-waisted ones. I can't remember what they're called, but I wear an extra small. Then I've got my 550s on my feet and little socks, which to be honest, the socks should be like beige. They look a bit weird because they're white and the shoes are beige. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Top is just like a little waffle knit from Hollister. I've got my hoodie underneath, as always. You can kind of see it here. I just always wear it underneath for a bit of warmth. And then this coat is a £20 Primark number with a little H&M bag underneath that I just thought, because this coat is so big, if I put the bag over the top, it's really annoying. So I've just tucked it underneath and then I'm ready to go and see them and watch them in the marathon. Just put the marathon on the telly, watching the first men like starting and stuff, like the leading, the elite, shall we say. Um, and we just got ready, just popped on a little outfit. We'll be in my outfits of Berlin video. And we're gonna head out the door and go and watch them. We've got our signs ready. I'll put a picture on the screen here of what our signs look like. So we did one that was like Hannah Mark, we have your beer, or we've got your beer or something. And then the other one says, eat pasta, run faster. And hey, you nice legs. So we've got four, so we can keep swapping them over and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna head out the door now and go and watch them and see them in their race. We saw them once, they are sub four. We're now drinking roadies and waiting for them to come past, but our signs are doing very well. We've been taken. We've had photos, we've had photos, videos. Our aim is to try and get on the news or to like try and just get somewhere with both sides. So the hey you nice legs and the we've got your beer. The we've got your beer is here. On the opposite side. Um, but yeah, we've got our gins. We couldn't find beer in a can, so we just went for gin and whiskey instead. But yeah, we're just waiting for them here. They're about 2K behind where we're stood now. So we've been getting the train run, we're very lazy. But yeah, it's literally mad. I don't know if you, I'm gonna try and show you down the road, but it's, there's so many people. Here she is. <laughs> where's my medal? Hannah, where's your medal? Where's your medal? You finished. <laughs> oh, finished, finished. Woo! Nice legs, nice legs, nice legs. <laughs> we have had a very productive morning but I haven't vlogged once so we went to Worst Behaviour which is one of my favourite shops and got some new bits and pieces. Jay got some, oh we're actually both wearing them. We're both wearing matching leggings because you know, twins. <laughs> and then um, we headed to a place called Alex for lunch which is by, what's it called, East Billing, East Wall Gallery? East. Yeah, the East Wall Gallery. Gallery. Yeah. yeah, it was like next to that. And now we're heading up in the Berlin High Flyer which is 28, I think, euros each. And it's basically like, you probably can't see it from here, but it's like a giant hot air balloon. And you go up in it and you just, like, it doesn't actually go anywhere. Oh, there's a photo booth. Should we go in the photo booth? Oh my gosh, should we try and fit the five of us in this photo booth? Oh no, I think it is. Hmm. You might be right. I think it's shut. Well, we were gonna be going on the Berlin High Flyer. It's 27 euros each and it looked really fun, but I think it might be closed. I think it's closed. Well, that's fun. That was a. We're closed because it's too windy. That makes sense. Uh, the museum is actually closed today and tomorrow. This one? Berlin, yeah, Berlin Wall Museum. For God's sake. <laughs> so basically, we can't do anything. We should have done it all the other day. So is calm coffee. I went to go get the coffee. Today. Wait, are oh. you sure you're talking about that? No, because there's people going in. Why is everything closed? Oh. Yeah, that one's got people going in and out. 
yeah. The high flyer over here is shut for two days because of the wind. So we've come back to the wall because we didn't look at any of it yesterday. Not yesterday, the other day because Mark wasn't with us and we wanted to wait and do it all together. So there's like a little bit down here, there's like loads of factual history things and then we're gonna go in the museum is what I think. But um start at the other end. What start at that end? It says start at that end. Well we could do that and then come back and do it this way. Yeah. Our train is 35 minutes delayed, but it's pretty easy. You just go to the train station and buy a ticket and go to Munich. I don't know. <laughs> it's really easy. It's like a hundred pounds or something. Um, I'm very delusional and very tired and I need coffee. Okay, uh, to confirm, we panic bought at 10 p.m. last night because we were lagging. <laughs> no, it's, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. We just got the ticket on train line to Munich and it's a straight train for like four hours. So it's not too bad, but we just, the girls are literally laughing at me. <laughs> They're laughing at how I'm making it sound very non-chaotic and it was a bit chaotic. So chaotic. <laughs> actually spoken to the camera in like two days now but I also can't do a room tour right now because the room is a mess so I'm gonna put the room tour on the screen and show you what it looks like but we're staying in the lock hotel I'll leave the link down below and it's beautiful it's a really nice hotel it's kind of like a suite so we've got like a little kitchen bit here we've got a big sofa we've got like the bed and stuff obviously and it's just really nice it's been really comfortable really quiet we also do weirdly have a balcony, not that we've used it because it's obviously not balcony weather at all, but it's, yeah, been a really nice little room, really comfortable, and I would probably stay here again, especially because they have other hotels in other places, like it's just been really nice and really comfortable, but we are about to go out for some food because it's our last day here, so we actually get on the plane this evening, I think it's like nine o'clock or something, so... We're gonna go get some food, go and see what we can see. I think we're gonna go to the Munich residence and like potentially a couple of other bits, see what we've got time for. But it's been so nice here. Like Oktoberfest was so much fun. I literally vlogged nothing of like anything of substance, I don't think. I've probably put the clips in by now, but I couldn't take my camera because you're not allowed a bag. So I just literally had my phone and was just filming what I could. But it was really good fun, definitely worth the money, definitely recommend doing it if you come to Munich. And if you're going to do Oktoberfest, I feel like you need to do it properly and go there because it was so good. But yeah, we're going to head out to a place called Soy Vegan, which is a vegan Vietnamese place. And we're going to grab some lunch and we definitely need to grab a coffee. But we're going to walk, it takes about 25 minutes from where we are and we just feel like we need the fresh air. So walking it is. And it's also not raining, I don't think, for the first time in a while. Yesterday was absolutely chucking it down the entire day. Um, we looked like drum routes when we got home, but worth it. So we came to Soy Vegan, which is obviously, as my says vegan, it's a Vietnamese place, and it's really nice in here. It's really dark and like smells unreal. Um, but we got the lunchtime special, which was 9.50, and you get uh, like summer rolls. So we got summer roll and peanut butter. We both got a curry, like a red curry, which I'll show you in a minute. And then we both got tea because we realized we need some health in our lives. Um, so I got a nice big mug of green tea. Jay's just got jasmine tea and add water because I think we need it. <laughs> But yeah, I hope it's good. I love this type of food so much and I'm really hoping it's like amazing. If this is as good as vegan living, then we're on tour with us. We need to find a vegan living in every city we go to. Exactly. 
So here's the little red curries. They look so good. Oh, it smells amazing. You can't even make this up. So we were at the English Gardens and it was maybe like what, two o'clock, three o'clock? Oh yeah, if that, yeah. Like, yeah, like three o'clock. Um, and we got a message from EasyJet saying that our flight has been cancelled. So we tried to book another one for Friday, couldn't do it. The next one was literally Sunday. Um, bearing in mind today is Thursday. And we managed to call them, well Jay called them, managed to get on a flight tomorrow from Berlin instead of Munich. So we're about to get on a five hour train to get back to Berlin. Our trains actually just pull up. About to get a five hour train back to Berlin to stay the night in a random hotel to then get on the train tomorrow. So it's basically the most long-winded. Do you want a hat? It's basically the most long-winded way of getting home, but at least EasyJet are covering everything, but it's just annoying that it happens because what can you do? We're finally on the way home. Um, we did get woken up today by what's now stopped actually, loads of drilling and just really loud you probably can't even hear it that well because of the muffler thing on this, but we got woken up by drilling and like banging and I don't even, it, it's just an experience. But this hotel is kind of cute. It's like a studio apartment vibe. So this is what it looks like. So you've just got like the bed, the little kitchen bit over there. You've got like a table and stuff. I think it was only like 160 for the night or something. Um, so it wasn't too bad, but yeah, just very noisy is all I'm going to say. Very, very noisy. Oh, I haven't charged my headphones. I need to charge my headphones. I just saw yours on charge and was like, that needs to be done. Okay, as I was saying, we um, are staying at a place called Lime House. Um, Lime? It was Lime House. Lime Home? Lime Home. <laughs> I want to say it was Lime Home. Lime home I'll leave it linked down below. It is really nice, I'm not going to lie, it's quite cute. The only thing I will say is the noise is very... Like, there was no warning of construction. And I don't know if it's in this building or the next building because we're the furthest room, but... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cute. It's like, it's a room and it's nice. And it's only three stars, so it was like 150 pounds or something for the one night, which for saying we booked it about three hours before we turned up, I'd say it's quite good. So yeah, we're gonna, you're gonna look at getting a little Uber to the train station. Well, easy to have said they'll pay our taxis, but they won't pay for Ubers. But I don't really know how we're just gonna flag down a taxi when we're literally in like the middle of nowhere. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but yeah, we need to get a taxi. So we're drinking a coffee quickly. We have no toothpaste and no deodorant because we binned them. Because obviously, like, we'd bought them to come here and then we didn't want to take the extra weight and, like, whatever back. <sighs> I feel like I always try and be so positive, but this is just an experience. Right now. This just sums it up. We woke up to this. I thought last night was quite fun, though. Like, the train ride was nice. Like, we, there was two guys opposite us. We had a nice chat with them. Like, we got to the hotel, we watched John Tucker Must Die in bed till I fell asleep very quickly. Like, it's not been a bad extra time. It's just been a bit stressful, but <laughs> yeah. It would have been better if we'd have had a delay and like, we'd have been in the same city. So like, say for example, we found out we were being delayed till this morning, but we were still in Munich because we could have had extra time exploring Munich rather than like rushing around. But yeah, it is what it is. We need to just drink and then go to the airport. Coffee, not beer.